Okay, as a public disclaimer, uh, I'm, I'm talking to uh, former Senator Rene Espina, who, who is uh, my father. Um, y you were making a point a while ago, please continue, regarding the, the Bataan nuclear power plant. I had a feeling that if my advice was only followed by Madame Cory Aquino, we should not have paid for something, for a loan that is very, very unconscionable. Because, can you imagine, sa dalawang, sa presyo ng doble ng isang nuclear plant na binabayaran natin, na hindi naman natin ginagamit, mm -hmm. ha? E bakit babayaran natin? That was a very notorious and very, very, shall I say, unjust loan mm -hmm. that was imposed on the Filipino people. At saka pa, wala tayong nakuhang maski isang kilowatt na elektrisidad dahil hindi natin ino-operate ang nuclear plant. Correct. Okay. We have a, a, um, a reaction from 6109. Mr. Espina, may we ask who funds the opposition programs on that channel? It's noticeable that you don't have sufficient sponsors for your airtimes, if you don't mind, po. Truth luck. Well, thank you very much for noticing it. Yes, we don't have so many sponsors. Thank God we don't have those kinds of sponsors because then, therefore, you are left with only the truth. Um, walang big business po nagsusumusuporta sa programang ito. Uh, there is no big business in bed with uh, major television channels. And uh, if you try to do your research, maybe it's time... Um, if you really want to know the truth, to find out who are the real people who really own these TV stations, like ABS-CBN, try to find out who is the political hand who actually owns ABS-CBN or is part owner of ABS-CBN, um, just to be fair as well. All, all we do is pay homage to the truth the best way we see it. Uh, you may disagree with us, but this is what democracy is all about. Thank God there is a GNN. Uh, 3165, nanonood po si Lola Winifreda Atencio. Bakit daw po naganap o ipinatupad ni Marcos ang martial law? Uh, alam naman ninyo kung anong sabi niya dahil daw sa mga CPP NPA will take over the country. And uh, there were really serious matters that were, that were uh, being handled by President Marcos. As far as I know, and most of you, siguro karamihan ninyo ay sangayon, sa unang dalawang tao ng martial law, tahimik tayo, mm -hmm. maganda, at walang nakawan talaga. Wala. After that, it's something else. Uh -huh. So that, that's the reason why Marcos, I think, declared martial law. Um, Senator Espina, you know, you, you've been a, a veteran politician and you've seen elections come and go. Your own take as far as the PICOS is concerned, uh, automated, uh, automated elections. Uh, I, I know you've had your own experience in terms of uh, computerized <laughs> elections. Uh, uh, as far as the, this, this uh, PICOS system is concerned, uh, you, you, your own estimates. Alam mo naman, Eric, sa akong aking column sa Manila Bulletin, which I write once a week, ang tawag ko dyan ay Hocus Pocus. Dahil... Ang mismong Comelec, hindi tinupad yung mga safeguards. For example, yung infrared para makikita kung ang balotang nilalagay, genuine ba? Yung parang ultraviolet ba yun? Ultraviolet rays, yes, yes. wala. Oh. Oh. Ngayon, ang computer brain, yung programa, mm -hmm. hindi pinapakita. Hindi, tapos na yung program, yung program. Ang program, wala. Oh. wala. Oh. Pagkatapos, Ang pagboto mo, hindi mo alam kung anong pag-record ng pagboto mo. Mm -hmm. Pagalagay natin, buboto ko kay Corazon Aquino mm. or whoever. Mm. Hindi mo malalaman kung yung pagboto mo na record ba doon sa computer na Corazon Aquino. Pag-transmit naman mula sa, sa computer, patungo sa central computer, hindi mo alam anong total number of votes na pinadala. Mm -hmm. Kaya ako sumulat yung last week, sa aking column na kumari, i-amen ang yung automatic uh, counting law. Uh -huh. ng buksan, pagkatapos ng pagsira ng urna, buksan ang, ang computer, ang, ang box ng computer, uh -huh. bibilangin manually ang mga boto. Okay. At tingnan natin kung yung na, na, na record ng computer ay isang ayon basa na basa natin. Kung pareho, dun sa manual. Kung pareho ba. Okay. Pagkatapos, pagpadala rin, I-kumpara rin natin kung yung pinadala, napadala ba doon. Uh -huh. At saka, mayroon bang numero o code 
sa teacher nung nagpadala dahil yun tinanggal rin yun sa Kumilek. Uh-huh. Nandiyan yun sa batas pero tinanggal sa Kumilek. So ang uh, what... hindi mo malaman eh Rick, kung saan presinto ang nagpadala ng report. So ang sinasabi mo niyo ho ay kailangan kombinasyon na ng manual ito at uh, automated. Yes, possible. Okay, so ano mangyayari kung hi- pikos pa rin ang estilo ng <laughs> nagbotohan at hindi 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 makikinig ang Comelec, hindi ma- makikinig ang gobyerno na merong bahagi na manual. Ah, alam mo Eric, ah, pinalulungkot ko na sino ang mahawak sa machinery ng PICOS, yun ang mga kandidatong mananalo, maski ano pang pagboto natin. The one who holds the PICOS machinery, sorry, Comelec, will be the ones who will win in the election. So, ang tao ay is being ignored. The PICOS machine is the worst cheating machine that you can invent unless certain certain safeguards are introduced. I- ibig niyo sabihin, sa ilalim ng computerization, mas napadali ang dayaan? Oh, sa Germany, mayroong computerization sila doon. Sa Holland, ganun rin. Ang nangyari, mayroong naghabla sa German Supreme Court. Mm-hmm. At ang German Supreme Court came out with a judgment that when the voter does not know how his vote was recorded, and that only computer experts will probably know how had they voted by looking at the at the, at the computer uh, program mm-hmm. it does not follow the constitution that the voter must know how he voted and how his vote was recorded mm-hmm. the german supreme court throw away as unconstitutional the automatic counting machines or computer system of the german election how crucial okay. um itong darating pong 2015 If, if my information is correct, there will be about three commissioners who will be retiring. How crucial is the choice of COMELEC commissioners for 2015? What will be their appointments? Will their appointments have a bearing on the 2016 national elections? Al- al- as naman, far as your experience is concerned. Alaman mo na, Eric, tayong mga oposisyon noon, binoykot dati yung first presidential election ni Marcos. You yes, remember? yes, yes. And then Secretary Ronyo, pina ito sabi ni President Marcos na ano bang gusto ng oposisyon. Yes. Kaya ang hinihingi ko, kailangan mayroon tayong isa o dalawang miyembro ng COMELEC na rekomendado ng oposisyon. Okay. Dahil 100% eh, kay Marcos eh. Uh-huh. Oo. Ngayon, 100% ng mga COMELEC commissioners ay appointed by Malacanang. They are beholden to Malacanang. Although they claim that after their, their appointment, they are no longer beholden to Malacanang. Okay. Ang second na hinihingi ko kay Ronyo, nung panahon at yes. binigay naman ni Marcos ay inspector sa bawat presinto sa buong Pilipinas. Uh-huh. At pangatlo, sabi ko, i-bura, i-annul okay. ang lahat ng election list at panibagong registration ng voters uh-huh. for only four weeks. I mean, four days uh-huh. in two weeks. Yan. Pagkatapos sumama na sa eleksyon. Mm-hmm. If The three COMELEC commissioners, dapat ba makialam dito ang so-called opposition, if at all, their voices will be heard? Dapat mag- magpakialam dyan dahil, alam mo, utang na loob, mga ganito, ganito. Mah- mahirap ng, kung, kung minsan mahirap paniwalaan yung mga COMELEC commissioner na hindi tutupad sa gusto ng Malacanang. Okay. Galing po sa... Uh, maganda itong cellphone number mo dahil 1, 2, 3, 4, no? Parang na 1, 2, 3. Pwede po bang magkaroon ng dayaan sa PICOS machine? Wilbur po ng Palawan. Mayad-mayad uh, na gabi sa, sa iyo, no? Yes. Sigurado, Wilbur. Dahil bumoto na tayo. Oh, paano mong nalalaman na ang nirecord sa computer, palagay lang natin, ako kandidato for senator. Palagay lang, pero hindi, hindi na ako tatako. Retired na ako, eh. Oo. Oh. Ang sinulat mo rin na Espina. Mm. Pero ang program sa computer maging yung kalaban ko. Mm. So, wala kang, there is no means by which you can check whether the program of the computer really made it such that you voted for Rene Espina, it was not given to sumulong. Okay. Let's say, mo, sumulong is my opponent. Oh. Uh, yun ang binoto mo, pero sumulong ang, ang pinasok doon sa computer. 
Dahil madaling, madaling kuhan, madaling uh, maniobra. maniobra sa computer. Madali yun. Pag wala kang mga safeguards. Okay. From 2677, Mr. Senator, do you believe that Pinoy will not push for cha-cha or charter change? Well, uh, he has said he will not push anymore for charter change. Up to this point, I will take his word for it. But only time will tell. Okay. From 4242, J. Razon, tama si Papang Rene. Who controlled the Hocus Picos machine will be the winner with the connivance of outside powerful force. Yan. 6109, Mr. Espina, we do know who owns ABS, ABS Channel 7, RHANC. We sure it's not Arroyo Money that funds their talk show. Programs po is yours? Hindi po. Sigurado po ako dyan dahil ang masasabi ko po sa inyo, uh, si Mrs or President GMA po ang nagtanggal sa akin sa Channel 4. Malino po ba yun sa inyo? <laughs> Dalawang presidente po ang nagtanggal sa akin sa trabaho ko po. Kaya, uh, malino po yun. Ano? <laughs> Pasensya na po kayo, nagahanap kayo ng ano eh. Pero, alamin nyo pa kung sino talaga ang tunay na may-ari ng ABS-CBN. Dahil alam nyo po, may isang talent dyan. Kung oobserbahan nyo, ang kilos niya po ay hindi mukhang talent. Mukha po siyang may-ari ng Channel 7, ah, ng Channel 2. Pag-aralan nyo mabuti, sino dyan na pag umarte, parang siya po ang may-ari ng Channel 2. Pero talent daw ho siya. Pero actually, baka siya po ang may hawak ng shares of stock kasi part owner ng ABS-CBN. Gamitin nyo, isip nyo. <laughs> Kilala nyo na kung anong pamilya yon Anyway, mapunta, uh, mapunta naman tayo dito sa, uh, sa Bangsamoro. Itong BBL po. Sa palagay nyo ninyo, uh, eh, nung nabasa ninyo itong... Itong uh, Bangsamoro law, uh, kinabahan ba kayo? Natuwa kayo? Dahil finally, peace is coming into our country. <laughs> Alam mo, Eric, ako ay... Uh, I, I don't speak very good Tag Tagalog, so I'll speak partly in English. Okay. I'm very much concerned with the BBL law. Okay. Because this might lead us into a situation where mahaba itong explanation eh. Mm. Kasi yung mga MILF, MNLF, ang nag-training sa kanila at nagbigay ng armas at nagbigay ng pera, yung mga Malaysiang. Okay. Ang unang batch ng mga trainees ay sila Normi Suare mm -hmm. at uh, yung the first 100 batch mm -hmm. ni Normi Suare mm -hmm. na train doon sa Malaysia mm -hmm. Pagkatapos, binigyan ng armas pera, binalik nila sa atin. Kaya nakakagulo tayo. Ang aking tanong, bakit naman na yung bayan na nag-train ng mga rebelde, nagbigay ng armas, maraming sundalong namatay, yun pa ang referee ngayon sa Pilipinas at sa MILF. Okay, we'll, we'll stop you there. We'll continue with the, with the, the Bangsamoro, the BBL, uh, when uh, Republica returns.